Hi, my name is Allie. I would absolutely donate my body to science. I've worked in the scientific field for the past few years now, and I've seen the benefits of donating your body to science. I've seen how it can help others directly and indirectly. It allows for science to evolve and to become something more. Hi, I'm Shan Lam. I'm the director at the Scientific Education and Research Institute. We are a bioskills lab that specializes in surgical skills training for doctors. Really, one of the biggest advancements that we've had in, in medicine is the use of cadavers for scientific and medical training. We've been able to gain so much knowledge from cadavers. The best gift that, uh, that somebody can give us is the use of their bodies for scientific training. The use of cadavers allows doctors to practice their crafts, allows companies to introduce doctors to new techniques, new devices, new procedures, uh, and it gives us all a, a chance to really give doctors a place to train without actually having to train on live patients. Hi, my name is Carly. After kind of seeing the benefits that body donation lends to um, the modern scientific community, I would be willing to um, do organ donation. Um, I think that there's a lot to be learned, the use of actual human tissue, and it's a great gift to share, um, to have the knowledge of science and, and really get a hands-on approach to the learning of anatomy. At the Science Education Research Institute, we are primarily focused on education. Our primary business is surgical skills training, which obviously we're educating surgeons on different surgical skills that they're trying to practice or learn. Hi, my name is Paula V, and I am pro donating your body to science after death. I think that through all the things that I've seen in my um, science undergraduate career, I really, really appreciate how people have donated their bodies so we can learn from them. Um, I work in a cadaver lab and I've had anatomy lab at CU and I honestly wouldn't have been able to learn as much if people hadn't donated their bodies. Oftentimes we'll invite high school students to come and lead their own dissections in, a, in an anatomy dissection where we'll kind of dissect out the rest of the spine or some of the general organs in the front of the body. This gives us an opportunity to um, enrich some of the sciences in, in high school education and also gives them a little bit of advanced exposure to dissection and anatomy.